Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 GameCube review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Ikaruga, which if you've never played it before, it's basically a shoot up but you can actually choose which type you want. So anyway, at the start here you get start game, which is obviously start the game, practice and conquest is where you either practice a stage or sections of a stage, challenge, start a web ranking game, rankings obviously the rankings, options, you can choose what type of screen you want, so you can actually put it like that and play it like that, but obviously all the text is going to be side on, so you have to read it side on, or you can obviously change, like put your telly over onto its side, but in the age of HGTVs that's not really an option for some of us unfortunately. But for now I'm just going to play it like this because the controls do flip around a little bit and it can get confusing. So anyway, you've also got the sound where you can choose the sound obviously. Game difficulty, that's on custom and I'll explain that when I go into the game. Trial games for the arcade mode, extension is basically how, well, well it's set to basically at the moment 3 million points to get your first extra life then every 5 million after that it basically means when you get extra lives. Machines remaining is how many you actually start with, controller settings you can customise the controllers, tutorials obviously a tutorial, extras things like sound tests stuff like that, save load obviously you can save the game, load the game and set the auto save. So anyway, this is what I mean by custom difficulty. Basically it means when you start the game you actually get to choose your difficulty, which I'm just going on easy for now, before you go into it. That way people who want to play the game on different difficulties don't have to keep going to the options. Then you get to choose normal mode or trial mode. Trial mode you get the first two chapters, not all five levels. Unfortunately I'm getting tongue twisted because they call them chapters, I call them levels. You get the first two levels. With the first one you get unlimited continues, the second one you don't. The normal mode obviously you get all five levels. Whole point of the game is you go bottom to top, shooting the enemies and the bosses as they come, and you can change from being black to white. Basically, when you're black, then any of the black shots that come flying at you won't kill you, you'll just absorb them, and same for white. Basically, the reason that, like, the whole point of that is the far left of the screen, you've got a bar, just basically loads of little squares, and it's a bar. As that fills up, you can unleash a homing laser attack, and obviously the, well, the fuller the bar, the more powerful the laser attack is. So I'll try and show it off, but unfortunately they're not shooting at me at the moment because it's the start of the game. So here we go then, let's absorb some shots. There we go, I've got three boxes full, let go, and there we go, just fire a load of lasers out. Obviously as I say it'll get more powerful, then just underneath that bar you've got how many lives you've currently got, and above that you've got your chains, which basically as the chains go up you get more points and successive chains net you more points as well and it basically means whenever you kill three enemies of the same type without breaking the chain so white 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 or black 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 is a chain whereas black black white or white white black isn't or white black white anything like that basically and that's uh, pretty much that then that's basically the whole just the shoot em up this one there's uh, quite a few cool unlockables you can do and it's a uh, really cool way how it actually works as well because it starts with basically unlocking extra continues so you can set for more credits to go at the start and that's the first hour you get another one, the second hour you get another one, all the way up until you get seven hours when you then unlock unlimited continues. And you can also unlock the sound tests that way, you can either unlock it by, uh, one of the things, you can either unlock it by beating the game, I think it's without losing a life, or you can just play the game for 20 hours. So obviously that's going to be the easier version. But uh, musically and graphically the game's fantastic, so I'm just going to shut up now to let you have a little listen. So there we go then, that was a bit of the music and this is the boss. As you can see with the bosses are just the big enemies, at the very top it comes up the energy bar so you know how far away you are from killing them or just killing that section. So there we go then, that's been the review. I hope you've enjoyed it or at least found it helpful. You might have noticed I didn't score the game, well that's because it's a matter of personal opinion and yours may very well differ from my own. I'm just here to show you a bit about the game, if you like it or not, well that's up to you. If you don't like it, or you do like it, feel free to comment. Also, if I haven't answered any of your questions that you may have had, I might have forgot something, or it might just be something obscure. Again, feel free to comment, ask, always willing to help out. Otherwise, if you don't like commenting on YouTube, head over to www.vc-forums.com where you can chat with me and a bunch of other lads who love the VC, the WiiWare, and hell, even a lot of other systems. We cater to pretty much everything. 
you can just go there, have a chat about a game, ask about some games, etc. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.